for you to first of all hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you won't miss anything from this channel i'm michelle i am a visibility coach content marketing strategist and also email marketers there's a lot of things i juggle in life i have a full-time day job that pays my rent and bill but i'm also a full-time coach so as you can imagine my day is pretty much filled with agendas and to do things and so if you are a solopreneur and you're trying to grow your business, in the meantime, there's a lot of responsibility that you have on your plate, then this episode is definitely something that you don't want to miss. Hello, welcome to my channel. So today I thought that I would do a walkthrough. So tomorrow is actually, if you're watching these videos, chances are it's already up tomorrow. So it's June 1st. And so I thought this, this would be a great beginning, a great start for me to actually do a, a plan, a monthly plan with me video. I, I know there's a lot of like paper planner and I'm such a big fan of paper planner. I used to buy paper planners only. So my shelf is actually loaded with lots of paper planner. And then earlier this year, I decided since I have an iPad and I haven't been really using it for, for put it into use that good. So I figure I'm going to set myself a goal to actually be using it. And I, when I was watching and browsing through all the uh, YouTube channel, I came across this digital planning world. And that just like completely blew my mind. And ever since then, I've been using my app, uh, Apple Pencil as well as iPad to really um, plan out all my days and including my contents. And there's a lot of things I do on my iPad. I use Notion to plan out all my contents and organizing my life. And organization, I would say, is something that I did not realize that I have, I have such a gift. And, and I think I always think back to the days when I was little. Um, I remember going through school and you always have this uh, program, right? So your school curriculum program and, and that you get every, every semester. So I would take that program. And I will come home and I will map out exactly when do I study, when do I eat, when do I sleep. So it's very mapped out and time blocked, um, which I didn't realize I was using it at the time. You know, I was time blocking all these activities and seeing things that I need to do in my life. Now, fast forward in my adult life, now that I have two jobs, uh, I have a day job that pays my rent, I'm a clinical pharmacist, and I'm also a full-time coach. So on the days that I am not staffing at a hospital, then I am coaching, I'm working with clients, or I have a course actually online. So there's a lot of things, and I do my own marketing, I'm also a content marketing strategist. So there's a lot of things I do in my life, and in order for me to do everything, you need to have a system. <laughs> that is pretty much the bottom line, right? So if you want to get everything done, um, then you need to have a system. Uh, whether it's my system or someone else's system, you need to come up with your own system that works for you however you want to organize your life. And so hopefully by watching these ch channels and following me on YouTube, it's going to give you a sense of how, how you might be able to use some of the strategies that I share um, in my life and how I organize things to create my content and to stay in front of my audience. Those are the things that you can take away and tweak it and make it your, your own. So that is my goal and mission here. And so today I thought, why not do a monthly monthly plan with me kind of things? Because I this is like my second video on the digital planning. And hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm, my goal is to make some more. So we're going to have a good start by doing a gym. Oh, that's my cat, Toby. Say hi to Toby. Yeah, say hi to Toby. 
Um, so I'm hoping that starting in June, I will be do, able to do this uh, regularly, if not monthly, um, at least to give you an idea of how I organize my life. Uh, let me just move my thing. Toby likes to, Toby is not camera shy at all. All right. So I am going to share my screen so that you can take a look of the, um, my, my planner that I use. And oh, what, what, what did I just do? Stop sharing, Toby. Um, so I did not create this digital planner. I actually purchased it from Etsy and I will have the link down below in the description box so that if you're interested, you can go and check out. Um, it's from Planner Collective. And so she has a whole collection of different types of digital planning. So my style, I would say it's very minimum. I don't use a whole lot. Of, I don't like a whole lot of color because I just think that they're very distracting. I like it plain and simple and easy to use. I need it to be functional. So uh, occasionally I'll throw in some stickers and, and things like that, but I want to keep it organized, minimum and easy to use. And I think that is always been something that I strive for. And even after I purchased like so many planners and so many stickers, I still couldn't figure out like a system that works for me. And when I finally came to digital world, it was like a complete game, game changer because with a digital planning, you can have so many different type of notebook all combining one and all you have to do is just carry one device with you. All right, so let me go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so here we are. This is my planner. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through how I am going to plant my um, month of June. So I already have uh, some of the some of the uh, agenda spelled out. So I use um, Google Google Calendar to help me to keep things like in the digital work um, because I also need to keep track of of my uh, work schedule. So let me just pull up my Google Calendar on the other side um, of the screen so I can see what's going on. All right, so the month of June. And by the time you're watching this, it's already June. So happy June. All right, we're going to plan this. All right, let's see what I got. So I do have a, um, I do have a group, a mastermind group that happens every, um, every other, every other Wednesday. So, and that's usually happening at two o'clock. So I do have one scheduled for tomorrow. And, and again, this planner came from Planner Collective. And so all you have to do is just, uh, check out the, uh, the link in the description box and go go to the uh, Etsy website. And there's tons of like digital planner that you can find um, Etsy. And I get really lost in, in wanting to buy more. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. It was totally jacked up earlier. And so I had to fix it. And so here... Um, so I, I was saying that I do have a mastermind. Uh, why is it not working? Okay, here we go. Uh, I do have a mastermind that happens every other Wednesday. So maybe I need to sync it. I'm just gonna place the, it doesn't wanna listen to me. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So that's gonna happen June 1st and the 15th. And this is only for women coaches who are building and creating and growing their um, business. Okay. 
I like how you look. So that's going to happen on June 1st and 15th. Next. So I am going away um, this week, the 9th through the 12th. So I had that already marked down. And it says the time has come for me to do nothing. And I feel like that's really the art of my life or the model of my life that I want to live by. Um, because I feel like I am the person kind of just do, 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 do. I go through my, my year, my month, just do a lot of things. And I, even, even my students would, would tell me like that, like, Michelle, you need to slow down. <laughs> I remember one of, one of my coaching session, I had uh, um, one of my students and she told me, I, I was, I was explaining something to her about like, how do you, how do you do the marketing and you know, all that strategies? And then she said, hold on. <laughs> so she needs to, she needs to process it first. And so, you know, that's, that's just me. Um, on Saturdays, I usually have a uh, Toastmasters meeting. So the, those of you who don't know what Toastmasters is, is basically a place where you can practice public speaking. And, you know, we um, have a lot of um, regular events and meetings. And earlier this year, I actually, um, participated and be one of the in the one of the speech contests and I was able to won the uh, second place so that was pretty exciting that was really new and kind of like hitting my milestone for this year and I'm hoping that I can do it again for next year uh, I don't want to move that whole thing let's go back doesn't want to listen to me today. All right, so wait, I need one over here. And then I need one over here. So I don't plan on going to the meeting. Um, I'm, I'm vacation. Um, I'm on vacation, right? So I deserve to have a good vacation. All right. So that's for the rock start. And so basically we meet every Saturday at eight o'clock and we do a lot of pra practice on public speaking. And it's just really fun to see a whole bunch of women getting together, uh, rock star speaking, not speaking, rock star speaker. And that's at eight o'clock. And then here, And then I'm gonna need another one for here. Oh, so there we go. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I also have a podcast that happens every, every Wednesday and I stream this live into my Facebook group. Um, and it's really for women coaches who are looking to grow their business and they're looking for to hear other inspirational um, stories and also things that have worked for other people so that is happening every Wednesday oh actually I don't have one for tomorrow that happens every Wednesday at 11 o'clock pacific time um let's see I do have one on the 15th so we're gonna move that to here. We're gonna resize that a little bit. So one thing I love about planning is that it's very therapeutic. So you can sit here and you can talk to yourself and you can you know talk in your head, and you get to have an overview of how busy um, your month will be. And it really gives you an idea of how you want to plan out your day. 
Um, so even though I use Google Calendar on my on my calendar, on my computer, on my desktop, as well as my mobile, but I still like the p picture, like just by looking at it, I know exactly what needs to be done, what needs to be uh, taken care of. And I don't have to like necessarily go to a big giant list on Google Calendar. I can just have like, no, okay, that looks pretty empty. Let me fill in some more stuff. <laughs> That would be my my mindset. Um, so these color that you see here, these color, it just means that you know I'm gone. I'm actually not staffing at my day job, so I am fully present in just doing my coaching a hundred percent, and then enjoying my vacation um, from the nine to the to the twelve. I'm actually going to Memphis. So those of you who are in um, in Memphis. Let me know, or if you're in the area, put it in the comment. I would love to, you know, hear where you're coming from. And if you have any recommendation, let me know. Like, I'm totally a foodie. And that would help me to actually fill up some of the journal pages in this planner. So put it in the comment. Let me know um, if you're from Memphis or if you've been to Memphis, uh, what do you recommend? <clears throat> All right. Um, so I have a couple of to do here. Um, for my goal this month, uh, which include my building my list, my email list, I want also to be able to grow my Facebook group, and also I want to um, post. Uh, I don't I don't remember that what I said. <laughs> okay, that's that's do put that put a question mark next to it. What does that mean? I must have written it, and I don't remember what it means. You ever get those um, feelings where you're so overwhelmed and you write something in your notebook and suddenly you don't remember what you wrote? Yeah, that, that's me happening right there. Um, there's a couple of courses I'm taking and we always have like meeting on Tuesdays and we also have like other um, group meeting on Monday that's happening um, and also like workshop that throughout the whole entire month. Um, I also do, let's see, what else do I have going on in June? I have a lot of things going on in June. Um, I have a couple of podcast interview that's coming up. And then, oh, there are days where I am staffing um, at, the, at my day job. So I got to put that in. All right, we're going to use a different color. Let's see, let's do an orange. Okay, so I will be staffing here, bigger circle. And then we're going to June, July. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness, so fast. Okay, all right. I feel like we barely got into June and now I'm planning for July. That's crazy. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna write those in, write my time start in here so that I know what time do I need to be there. And this is what I tell people all the time. Like, if you want me to be somewhere and there's something important for me to be, then you're just going to have to tell me, like, when do I need to show up and where do I need to show up? And that's it. Because I hate, I hate that, um, you know, when people ask me, like, hey, do you have time? You know, when do you have time? No, just, just tell me exactly what time and where do I need to show up? And I will make sure myself show up. Um, cause that's a lot easier for me. <laughs> if you would just ask me like, when do you want to do this? I, chances are, I'm probably not going to be able to give you a definity, um, defined day and time just because my mind is just everywhere else. <laughs> so in the future, if you ever plan to in, invite me to somewhere, just make sure you tell that to me, um, where do you want me to be? And when do you want me to show up? And that would be perfect. All right. So that is pretty much it. Um, and I, of course, I have like a couple of coaching client calls, you know, like throughout the week. 
Um, those are kind of confidential, so I won't be filling in that in on the call on this video, but you get a sense of how I organize my life, at least on a monthly view. Um, over here on the notes section, usually I would write down like some of the things that that's coming up uh, in June. Like for example, um, next month in June, I, I just have a couple of uh, podcast interview. So I would just note that podcast interview I think I have one coming up this weekend and another one mid-June. So I have some just random event that comes up. So I would just write those in the in the no section. So podcast, and that's happening on the fourth. And then I have another one. And these are podcast shows that I am going to, um, not so much of um, my, my own podcast. I saw there's another one that, there's another podcast that I'm supposed to be on. Where did it go? It's in here somewhere. I'll find it. Yeah, so that is it. That is how I plan my life on the month of June. Um, it doesn't look very busy because uh, I don't like being busy. <laughs> I feel like I'm busy enough. So the least I can do is to keep my planner not so busy. I do use uh, stickers. Um, I didn't show you guys like my stickers, but I, I do download and I purchase these uh, stickers that I find in Etsy shop. So I can always import those um, and use them as I wish. So I like these are pretty, pretty cool. I can decorate this. So I'm gonna do a split screen and this is the ROM planner. So like, for example, I can add some the cords a coffee a day. Yeah, that one, that's good. I don't know, actually, here. Let's just use that one. So this one actually say, all you need is love and coffee. Yep, that's totally my motto. And that's totally my brand. Um, so, I, you know, I encourage uh, coaches to actually develop your own personal brand um, because it's really who you are and what you stand for in your business. And so when you have like your personal branding, your, brand, your personality is coming through, then it really helps a lot for your audience to connect with you. And one of the things um, that I'm really uh, passionate about and specifically my brand is that love and coffee. <laughs> Those are my thing. <laughs> and cat, cat is also my thing, okay? Um, so if you, if you like, if you're a cat person, Put that in the comment, drop me a, um, a comment, a heart. Let me know that you are a cat person because I'm totally a cat person. Uh, let's see. Oh, I like this one. Find comfort in the chaos. All right. Sometimes life is so chaotic that you just do what you need to do and just close your eye and pray for the best. <laughs> you didn't hear me say that. <laughs> Yeah, just close your eyes and pray for the best. I'm going to put that over there. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see what else I can use on this paper. Nope. Oh, there we go. I want extra coffee. For sure. Everybody can use an extra coffee. So here's mine. Yep. Mm -mm. Yes, extra coffee in here.
And then, so what I'll do is um, I'll schedule a plan with me day. So I didn't, I didn't go into like planning the day yet. So if you tap on each one, it's going to take you to a spread. So again, this planner came from, this is not a dash planner. This came from Planner Collective. So I will share the link down below in the description box so you can go and check it out and download. So I got, um, basically she has like different color and different, um, so the tab like here on the tab, you can choose different color, okay? So you can choose different colors and um, inside you can also choose, is it a Monday start, is it a Sunday start? So I'm on a planner, I typically like to do a, sun, a Monday start. But when I plan, I typically like to plan on Sunday. So all my Sundays would be planning days, um, which I'll go into a lot more detail next time when we talk about planning the week. Right. This is just a month overview. And next time when I go a lot, you know, doing a video, I will talk about how I plan for the week. And so basically for the week, um, that's pretty much what it will look like. I have like schedules, schedule things um, up. And then let me go to July. So I like the hourly layout because um, there's calls in between and um, I usually do time block. So I'll show you next time on the next video how I do time blocking on my weekly hourly to really organize my days, you know, and I, how do I block out the time that I actually can do everything. So stay tuned um, and I will put that video shortly. And hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you are new, if you, this is something that you've been wanting to do and you want to follow, and I just inspire you to wanting to go and discover the digital planning world, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you will get notification next time I have a video. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on the next video.